Hi all of you. I am Shabbir, Shabbir Ahmed Bashir and I will be the main teacher instructor for geography optional at Edukemi. So maybe some of you know me as a teacher at Edukemi. For others, I may be interacting with you for the first time. So welcome all of you. Uh, in this video, which is a short one, I am trying to introduce the geography course for the benefit of your preparation. Starting August 6th, we are launching two programs. August 6th, 2020, this year, we are launching two courses. One is the foundation course for geography optional and the other is the integrated course. Integrated course for geography optional. And remember, both the courses are for geography optional. It is not for geography GS. For optional. The foundation course is essentially a five, five and a half months program. It will require approximately about 20 to 22 weeks program where we cover the syllabus of your geography for the UPSC, IES examination. And the course which is integrated, this comes with some additional features. Foundation course will be approximately 5 to 6 days a week, okay, a week, whereas the course which is integrated, this includes the foundation course plus certain additional components. The additional components include the enrichment package. It includes enrichment package, which is study of advanced topics. It includes study of current affair based coverage plus answer writing okay, plus tests full comprehensive tests, whereas the foundation course, in this course we will cover your syllabus, we will cover your syllabus, we will initiate you, initiate you into answer writing, but answer writing is not the focus here, answer writing is not extensive and not as thorough, because the time required for syllabus completion itself is lot of efforts. Whereas in the course which is integrated, I will cover the foundation, all of this is also here, plus we are doing lot of additional things. Enrichment includes taking care of advanced topics, taking care of current affair based analysis, teaching you answer writing a bit more thoroughly, we will have also lot of tests, plus in this we will support you with lot of additional material such as you will be given model answers, you will be given summary charts, which in this program, we do not have as many of them. Now, as an option, what students generally do is, they start foundation and then later on, they take up the enrichment program. So That's also an option for you. But I would suggest if you can and you are planning to do this properly, you can join the program which is integrated. This additional component, now see the foundation program requires 5 to 6 days a week. Okay, So this will be 5 to 6 days a week, whereas the additional component of integrated one, this will be approximately 2 to 3 classes a week. The additional component will be about 2 to 3 classes a week, it all depends. And this will be stressed over a time of 2 to 4 months. It all depends on how we can pace it. Ideally, this should require about 3 months, but the classes are not every day. The classes, I repeat, will be 2 to 3 classes a week and it can span over a time, which includes time before your prelims and some time after the prelims also. Before the mains, we can help you Okay, with some bit of additional components so that you are ready for the exam proper in 2022, uh, 2021. So this program, we are launching in 2020, but it is for 2021 mains. 
this is not for this year this is for next year so this is the program that we are launching now quickly i want to update you on some aspects of the preparation all those who have joined the course and all those who are interested to join okay you can benefit by this short video by the way this course the course is already announced the course is already announced in our website please do look up edukemi.com do look up edukemi.com okay in this website the course has been announced we also come up with couple of advertisements also on this you can have a look and let us know if you are interested now about the syllabus itself geography syllabus includes two papers paper 1 and paper 2 paper 1 is more about general principles it's more about general principles and it also includes world geography world geography whereas paper 2 is entirely indian geography indian geography and this indian geography component is a very very important part of your gs paper also your gs paper paper 1 there are some topics related to governance also topics related to environment topics related to governance topics related to social problems are also covered through geography geography includes discussions on language tribal problems issues of agriculture issues related to urban problems environmental issues forest management geography also includes infrastructure development trade and commerce so by the time you have finished of paper 2 thoroughly even your gs papers will be taken care fairly in good detail one advantage of geography is there's a very good overlap with topics of economy in your gs because economy ultimately is what agriculture industries infrastructure development challenges problems of disparities problems related to investments of hill area development drought development flood development flood area development programs and geography includes all of this we have agriculture geography we have urbanization settlement geography we have geography related to trade and commerce geopolitical aspects of geography so paper 2 has a very good overlap with gs papers and not just the geography part of the gs but also the other aspects which related to environment society and economy so this is how the syllabus so paper 1 is 250 marks and paper 2 also is 250 marks one additional thing about paper 2 is the map portions maps india maps now india maps we will cover in the class okay in fact uh, this video should give you a good idea about how i will be teaching we have a proper digital board i'll stand up and teach plus there are other tools also i use so using all of these tools i will be covering your map portions also plus there are about 30 plus recorded videos on maps which i'll share with you we step by step how the maps can be pointed out how the locations can be marked all of that will be taken care under our program which is foundation and also course which is integrated so this is the syllabus that we have we will share the syllabus copy i'll put it up for your use also those who take admissions will get a copy of the syllabus it's not a big deal there okay so this is the syllabus coverage
Now, some of you are curious about what are the books that you can read? What are the books that you need to have? Now, let me clarify one thing here. Uh, in UPSC and in your civil services preparation, the preparation requires lot of in-depth understanding, lot of appreciation of the issues and the concepts, which is not possible if you are reading and studying solely from notes, solely from printed material given by institutes and that includes me. Yes, as a part of the support program, I will give you lot of material also. We will give you handwritten notes, we will give you compiled content, we will give you some printed matter. But the fact is, you have to read books. This is not something lot of teachers tell you. Okay, but my call always is, you have to do the basics. You have to cover, cover the advanced portions. You have to update from current affairs based sources and all of this will require that you will need to refer to books. You will need to refer to magazines. You might have to look up the internet also for updation. So if I make a claim that whatever you require my classes will be enough, I will be not telling you the truth. The classes are important, they help you give direction, we explain things to you. But you will also have to have supplemental sources so that you can read, understand and make notes from those sources. So books are absolutely important. Okay, I do not know how I can re-emphasize this point. Anybody suggesting that you do not need to open books, I don't think that is the right approach. Books are important, so also magazines. Like we'll talk about magazines like Yojana magazine, Kurushetra magazine are very, very important. One magazine that we have solely for geography, which also has relevance otherwise, is a magazine called as Geography and You. In some of these magazines, lot of current issues are covered. And of course, lot of geography development, okay, lot of geographical news is in the internet and also on the newspapers. But don't bother about internet and newspapers right now. For now, procure the books that we need and make sure you have, uh, uh, you, you have access to some good magazines also. So this is the list that I am sharing with you. The books that you need, the books that you need, you need human geography, you need human geography textbook by Majid Hussain. In fact, uh, uh, August 6th class, when we start off the new batch, I am starting with population geography. So this is a must book for population geography. Human geography by Majid Hussain. You need, okay, geomorphology. You need climatology. Oceanography, Environment Geography. These are four separate textbooks and all of them by Savindra Singh. All of them by Savindra Singh. By all the four textbooks. There is one more textbook which is in the market called as Physical Geography by Savindra Singh. Now that's a book I will not recommend. Aap yehi char kitab lena, alag alag se. Because these have some additional portions like in geomorphology, topics of applied geomorphology, topics of slope development, topics related to channel morphology, topics related to lot of landforms and their development process, the concept of cycles for example, morphometrical studies, all of those are not in the physical geography of Savindra Singh. There is a separate book called as Physical Geography by Savindra Singh. Now this book I will not recommend. Apart from this, you need to buy. So this is the first book you must buy, the second book, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth book 
वी रिक्वायर बुक फॉर इंडियन जोग्राफी इंडियन जोग्राफी आई वुड रिकमेंड द बुक बाय के खुल्लर के एच यू एल एल ए आर खुल्लर डी आर खुल्लर टेक्स्ट बुक देर इज ऑल्सो बुक बाय माजिद हुसैन ऑन दिस बट दैट्स योर चॉइस माई पर्सनल चॉइस इज खुल्लर आई बिन रीडिंग इट आई अंडरस्टैंड दे आर अपडेटिंग इट वेरी वेल अ पिटी कंप्रीहेंसिव वन बट दोज ऑफ यू हू वॉन्ट टू रीड सम अदर बुक दैट्स इन टैली योर चॉइस बट फॉर दीज टॉपिक्स दिस बुक्स दीज बुक्स आर द वर्स आई रिकमेंड सम ऑफ दैम डू आस्क मी अबाउट द बुक बाय स्ट्रॉलर एंड स्ट्रॉलर फॉर फिजिकल जोग्राफी बट आई वुड नॉट रिकमेंड दैट गो बाय दीज बुक्स एंड द सेवेंथ बुक I am not uh, rubbing this details here, so I am adding the seventh book here. Seventh book here. There is a book called as Models and Theories. Models and Theories. Uh, you can buy. This is by Majid Hussain. By Majid Hussain. Then there is an eighth book for geographical thought. Okay, evolution of geographical thought. Evolution of geographical thought. This book by Dixit and another book. Again, geographical thought by Sudipto Adhikari. You will get a complete list from me on your mail. Okay, I think with these nine books, you can start off geography. Couple of editions later on, we can manage. But for the classes in the month of August and September, the book that I need is Human Geography by Majid Hussain. This is a must. Now these are what I call as reference books. Now very important point here is that these books are not to be read thoroughly. every chapter every page not required these books are for references and as a part of my study method or teaching method what i do is while i teach i expect you to open the textbook and do underlining and notes making in the textbook itself so you'll have to attend the class with your books alongside for example i'm teaching a concept called global migration i'll explain what migration is i will tell you the types of migration then i'll discuss the theories of migration and then i'll tell you open up majid hussain textbook and look up the page number 71 or 135 or 215 look at the second paragraph and do underline the portions i am mentioning back after the class gets over those topics have to be written down as a part of your notes again so the reference books are very very important if you start studying with me you will realize i continuously refer to textbooks okay for your updation so yes it does take some bit of time but without that there is no way you can move ahead and do justice to the topics that we need to cover so these are the nine books for reference purpose now apart from this we also require okay some basic readings the basic readings is not something i will force you to read but i expect that those are the topics you should cover on your own those are topics if you are able to finish off in a span of maybe 20 30 days it will help you understand geography better so some of the basic books basic books one is the ncert textbooks ncert textbooks in the old edition i would suggest by from class 6th to class 10th and new edition you may buy the books of class 11th and class 12th the old edition these 6 to 10th class these have what we call as regional geography of the world of the world whereas class 11th and 12th this is general principles more of paper one type and class 12th has more of indian geography there are two two books total four books 11th and 12th 
plus some additional portions also they have added. So NCRT books is like basic reads. This is not something I will tell you to read, but I expect you should read thoroughly. The second set of reference book, this is something all GS students also have, is uh, the class 10th textbook of ICSC syllabus. Certificate, the book's name is uh, Certificate Course in Geography. And this is a book by Go Cheng Leong. It is a very, very popular book for GS. These both books you will require for GS geography also. And it's almost like they are indispensable. I assume most of you will do GS on your own or whatever you have joined. Uh, in the near future, even Edukemi intends to launch some of these. But for now, you are doing it on your own. NCRT textbook by both old edition 6th to 10th, more of world geography and NCRT okay, new edition 11th and 12th that takes care of Indian geography and some principles of general geography. Apart from these basic books, uh, you can also have the choice of buying uh, made simple series, geography made simple. This is by Rupa Publication. And there are two volumes, volume 1 and volume 2. Volume 1 is physical geography and volume 2 is the human geography. And I'll recommend, please do buy this book also. It's a nice reference for some topics in optional study. This also will help you how to cover. So you have the list of nine textbooks which are reference textbooks. And you have the reference of the basic textbooks also. Apart from this, you need to have atlas. Geography is all about using maps, diagrams, understanding the global patterns. Geography includes you able to draw maps. In fact, map work is compulsory part of your paper too. So you need to have some atlases. You need to have atlas. I will recommend at least you can go for two atlases, any, any two of the following, any two. So you have Oxford Atlas, you have Orient Black Swan Atlas, and you also have TTK School Atlas. Go for any two. In recent times, there was one more atlas by uh, Study Today Publication. So this is more about Indian geography or Indian maps. So of these four, go for any two, though I would prefer that you have Orient Black Swan for sure. And recent times, Oxford has okay, redone its atlas, so very well, nice depicted. You can go for Oxford Atlas. TTK Atlas is a very traditional one. Many of them have followed over the years. Go for that. Or you can also go for the study today publication. But this one is more about Indian maps, not about the world map, not as many of them. These are your atlases for magazines. You need not go for magazines just about now. You can wait for this. Most of the magazine references you need for paper two and for current affairs based writing. So that's some time away. Okay, but magazines, one is you can follow Yojana. Kurushetra, Kurushetra is uh, an important magazine for rural development, agriculture issues. Okay, and another magazine which has becoming popular in recent years is a magazine called as Geography and You. So this is a lot of environment, current development, hazard discussions. You can take up some case studies uh, from these magazines. So this is the list of readings that you need to have in place for the classes. And this is how I teach more or less. We have our writing board here, the digital board here, I write. I can take your comments on the screen when you log in okay, on the sessions and I'll keep answering and discussing your doubts also. Now, what is the method that I use for teaching? Let me quickly brief you on that. What method we use for teaching? Okay, so my sessions are all based on okay, helping you make your notes 
we will take your doubts live okay uh, while i teach you are allowed to ask me your questions and i can take up questions on selective basis what i think is more important you can ask me your doubts these are all live classes these are not recorded sessions you will also be supported by you will be supported by okay recorded sessions you will be supported by notes you will get some okay not too many of them you will get some model answers okay we will recommend what are the articles you can read from the newspapers okay so notes writing is important whatever i teach i'll give you time to make your notes i will dictate and you will write down the notes i will give you some points some of the notes will be will be based on while i speak others i will dictate and of course i do take your doubts also for clarification and and uh, in this method uh, i assume you do not know geography many of the students in geography classes are from science background from engineering background so that's an assumption i will make that you all are starting from scratch so the discussions will include whatever you need for basics so i'll ensure that i am answering your questions all those related to topics you may not have covered earlier i'm not saying that this will be enough for your gs because gs approach is a bit different but whatever basics you need will be taken care of so po point here is i'm trying to comfort you those of you who do not have geography background you need not be too concerned those of you who do not come from geography graduation or post graduation you don't have to be discomforted here i will ensure that whatever you need to understand the classes will be taken care of and this is exactly how i teach okay so this video is partly for that too that so you start appreciating the way i will converse and i will teach you in the actual sessions apart from this talking about geography as an optional now a lot of people have lot of misgivings about optionals some find okay topics like uh, you know philosophy is too abstract some find sociology require lot of writing something public administration is too dry something economy is too technical so every subject there are some preconceived notions and one of the notions about geography is that it is vast that it has lot of syllabus now the fact is geography does have 10 15% more content than most optionals in fact if you look at the coverage of two optionals geography and political science they are on the higher side because they are very much real related to lot of current affairs based reading whatever happens around you becomes a part of geography studies that's the reason why geography tends to have a higher amount 10 to 15% of more amount i first require compared to other optionals but my assurance is that this current affair content was anyways important for you if you don't cover that in geography you will end up covering that as a part of gs ultimately so this coverage which is additional that is part of your advantage in studying your gs also and in the division of the time okay in division of time these four topics are like fundamental okay basis the four units the four units that are the basis of all geography ye four units kya hai number one is geomorphology now geomorphology as a unit takes disproportionately more time approximately this will take one month to cover i mean if you have a course which is across five months straight away 20% of time is taken by geomorphology but without geomorphology you cannot do oceanography you cannot do topics of indian geography you can't understand disasters you can't understand minerals either so a very very important topic geomorphology about the land the landforms the features that we have a second very important basic topic is climatology without climatology you don't understand wind patterns rainfall vegetation 
and the relationship to again disasters, applied aspects, climate change, global warming. So, ye to vaise bhi aapko padna hi hai as a part of GS. We'll do that thoroughly here. The third very important basic topic is environment. In fact, if you ask me to summarize what is the essence of geography, I would say essence of geography is about studying man in the environment that he lives. So environment. And the fourth very basic topic for geography is India physical. India physical. Where you understand the physiographic diversity of India, you understand okay, the climate of India, the monsoons of India, the soils of India. So this topic this is unit number one in paper one. This is unit two in paper two. This environment topic includes unit three and also unit four in paper one. And Indian physical, this is part of unit one of paper two. Of paper two. So these four topics are in many ways the fundamental pillars. And to this, to this, there's one more unit, which is the geographical thought. This is a bit different in nature. Geographical thought, it is about the discourses, the developments that give us geography as a discipline. Geographical thought is about how did geography as a subject evolve? What were the debates? What were the methods? So by nature, this geographical thought is rather abstract. And every year, this is becoming important. Of course, in 2019, we didn't have too many questions from geographical thought. Otherwise, this is one topic UPSC has gone after. A very important topic, a very critical topic, but you know, not everybody is comfortable doing it. But I can assure you, we'll have a good coverage from all of these five units. So that's briefing about geography as a subject. What all will we cover? What method of teaching will we have? What books will we be referring? And what is the technique of how you can update geography along with current affairs and magazines? So please feel free to ask us whatever doubts you have or clarifications you want to have about the course. We are starting the course in month of August. August 6th is when we are starting off. Of course, it will not be as fast paced initially, but then we will pick up speed. And I intend to wind up the course somewhere around month of December or January. Okay, that's uh, August, September, October, November, December. And maybe I can go towards a okay, couple of weeks of January also, if all goes fine. And let me tell this to you, this course is entirely online. This course is entirely online. Okay, I, I will focus on this technique. When we start offline, okay, then you can have an option of shifting. But as of now, we are planning and we are discussing how we will move forward in, in the online medium. You all will have access to certain apps also. You will download the app, the resource will be there. We will have interactive okay, engagement through the Telegram channels also. There will be closed group where all of you can put up your doubts and we'll try to answer whatever we can. But it's more for the peer learning. That's something I want to encourage in our study is, how can you study as a part of a group or peer learning? So please feel free to talk to us, discuss whatever doubts you have. And uh, do join us if you are convinced about me and the course. And uh, spread the word around if you think we can do a good work. So welcome to Edukemi, welcome to Geography Optional at Edukemi. Thank you so much. See you on August the 6th.